Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a viewer question here on the comments from the Art of the Image YouTube channel. And uh, Kyle is wondering about whether or not it's worth it to continually upgrade. He's got a D5200, wants to know if he should go to the D5300. And just in general, this is making me think that I've, I've had a lot of questions on this. And obviously, when you're considering an upgrade to the next camera, especially when you're going from like a 5200 Nikon to the D5300, where you're not jumping up a level of camera, you're just getting the newest update. Um, this is an interesting question because you're not um, necessarily always getting a whole lot of added value. So you gotta figure what can you sell your other camera for, i.e. the D5200, and then what's it gonna cost you for the 5300? Uh, in this specific case to figure out what your actual cost of acquisition is and then are you comfortable with that? For me, I still have the 5200 and I like the 5300 but I'm waiting for the 54 um, or who knows, I may be shooting another system at the mo moment I'm looking. I'll be getting some uh, GH4s in soon so that'll be interesting. But you have to ask yourself this question because basically nowadays cameras have evolved to the point where you could take a good photo with pretty much any DSLR Micro Four Thirds camera out there right now. Um, and you don't really need to update with every you know new one that comes out. Um, for instance, if I had a D610 right now, I probably would be happy with that camera for quite some time unless there was something absolutely earth shattering um, as far as an upgrade. Uh, what Kyle's talking about, the 5200, there's not enough of an update in there for the 5300 for me to buy that. If I was considering going to a, a next level up, like the 610 or even the 7100, then you know you might want to, to weigh that in. But basically nowadays, the cameras are so advanced, uh, I'm on at least an every other body update. And when I say that, I mean in the same product line. So for instance, if I wanted to update my 5200, I won't really look at it unless there's some amazing new update to it, which there really wasn't in the 5300, it was just a refinement, um, that I won't look at it till the next body line. So in other words, the D5400. Or even then, if that's not enough of a bump, uh, although I suspect it'll have 4K by then, um, then I would look at the next one. So what I'm saying here is, if you're not jumping into the next level of camera, so say you got a T5i and you want to go to the 70D, that's a jump. You're in a D5300, you want to go to the 7100. That's a jump right out of the, the, the level of camera you're at. We're talking about an update to your existing camera line. So unless there's something earth shattering as far as what the update brings, I would recommend nowadays staying on and skipping it. So. Uh, a skipping cycle, if you will. So like every other body that comes out, if you want to stay in that same level of camera, that you would move up to every other one. Or even every other second one, because they're getting so good now. Um, I mean, I could I can keep taking photos into eternity with the 5200. It's the video more that, that the advancements they're bringing that would cause me to want an update. So there you go, folks. If you're not jumping into another level of camera, moving up in, in what uh, class of camera you're in, and you're just looking at updating your current body to the latest and greatest of uh, update of it. Uh, I, I, you know, every other camera is uh, more than enough, I think, and maybe even beyond that, maybe you can be on every, every two updates or every three, whatever it is for you, uh, makes you comfortable, and consider very closely what the update brings. That's what's really going to be the deciding factor. So the answer to Kyle here is no. I would not go to the 5300 from the 52 because there's not enough difference in them for me. I'll wait until the 5400 comes out and then decide if I want to update my 5200. And that's what I would recommend doing to you or for you to do, I should say. Um, and anybody else out there in the same situation, you know, you're in... Uh, a T4i and the T5i comes out, probably not enough there to make the move. You're in a, uh, a Sony NEX6 and you're considering the new A6000, probably not enough there to make the move. So, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? 
Leave me some comments below. Do you have any questions? Do you need me to expand on something? Let's have a discussion about when we should buy updates or upgrades for our cameras. When is it worth it? When is it good value? Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new uh, videos, some new articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography, videography, and technology right here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.